Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I have a really fun and slightly interactive card to share with you. I'm going to be stamping with Amazing Congratulations and Party Pandas. This is the most fun stamp set. Party Pandas and Amazing Celebrations. They're both wonderful and they're both available in the Occasions Catalog and Celebration brochure. Large word dies are fun to use on projects and they help to get the message through really quickly. I'm going to place this stamp onto some watercolor paper. This is Island Indigo regular stamp pad and if you notice I'm holding that stamp in place because it's regular ink that I'm sprinkling with clear embossing powder. There is a possibility to emboss and make it a raised surface whenever you use dye ink. Just act very quickly. The reason I chose to emboss this word is because when watercoloring using embossing, it acts as if a barrier to hold all of the fluid in place. If I didn't emboss it, then when I went to watercolor this word image, then there was a possibility that I could get it all over the place. And I wanted to make it more of a quick project. I'd like to have the look of rainbow going across the word, kind of having the same colors in the same places on opposite sides of the word. So I'd like to have the blue on each end, have a little bit of orange or yellow next to that and some very wild and bright pinks in the middle. So to get those colors to blend into one another, I am first working in small sections to wet the letters just a few at a time, then adding a few drops of diluted ink from my stamp pad lids. Once the paper and the fluid receive that ink, then they will start to blend and mix together before it soaks into the paper. That is the greatest advantage of using watercolor paper when painting, crafting, or whatever the purpose you choose. It doesn't dry and soak into the paper. It gives you more time to play around. There's not a dye for this big, long word, but that's all right. I don't mind fussy cutting it. Watercolor paper is nice and thick and it fussy cuts easily. I'm stamping the party pandas with archival black ink. There are three different pandas to chew from and they are so cute. Sometimes if the image does not stamp out fully, then I'll take a stamp and write marker like I did the black one here and cover in any of those little speckles. I want to create the banner and I have something in mind that I think I can create on my own. With the help of my stamp and blends markers, I've gotten the gradient look of orange to yellow blended down and I'm using the everyday label punch to just punch out a very small strip. With a piece of Baker's twine, I can take one of these little pennants or little banners and fold over the straight edge, over on to the back side of the pointed edge, over the piece of twine, and there are some party streamers. Perfect. Once this is attached down to the card with some mini glue dots, then it's not going to come away easily and it'll be a fun thing that a child or an adult can push around with their finger, play with, shake. It's just a fun way to add something very simple, but it doesn't really look so simple in the finished product. Mini glue dots are my really good friend on this project. I'm attaching the end of that banner down 
with some of the mini glue dots using my paper piercing tool. I'm pushing it pretty firmly and but I want to give some slack in the twine or in the rope as you would say. Give, give there some slack so that the portion that's attached to the bear's hand is not going to be taut with the other end. I want this little flag pennant thing to move around in the pro in when someone holds it in their hand. Mini glue dots on the back of the word are also going to not raise it up too far from the card front, but have it there away popped up slightly from the card. The panda is going to be adhered with a few stamp and dimensionals, being sure that I leave enough space for that little that little streamers to move around just enough. I thought it would look appropriate to have the string look as if it began and ended on the card itself. So placing a bow just outside of the panda's opposite hand and having a length of the twine go and adhere to the other end was one way to carry through the look. It's, it's not hard to add something like this, and I felt that it visually added a little bit something more to the look of the design overall. In that amazing congratulations stamp set are lots of different greetings, and some of them are custom made to where when you put them with congratulations, they're for all sorts of different occasions. Really cute and very handy to have on any occasion. The inside of the card has another little panda peeking through. To uh, add as a companion for this card, I created a striped gold bag with three pandas that are layered up on some squares to make as a gift bag to go with this. So it's gonna be a cool gift and card combination. For more information on the 3D project, you can head to my blog at jennystampsup.com. You can click show more on the video description to get to a link for purchasing any of the products that I've shown today that are available in my online store. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!